and this will just be a soft wedge. Tried to escape, <laughs> and they pull within two. Head on, sort of keeps moving a little. This is a seven iron for Lizette. It's her, actually the first iron in her bag. It works. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Let it go. And did. Another good read, another good stroke, another good birdie. Back to back, get some 13, under par. That was solid and right on line. Oh, it went a little long, but that was well struck. Nothing wrong with that at all, is there? No, 107, over 170 yards. Right to left slightly, then moving back to the right. It's all about speed. Three in a row. Oh, it didn't move back to the right. At least she got it past the hole and will leave an, an uphill putt for her partner. She's definitely gone through some battles internally, but she is a fighter. She plays hard until the end, and that's why she's so valuable on a Solheim Cup team. Well, and for a player who doesn't hit it very far, she has had a very lengthy career as this tour and as golf has continued to reward length and power. It gets down to the second shot. Tee shot's fairly straight. The wind blowing right to left, so she defied that by just hitting a pretty dead straight tee ball. Yeah, Tracer said that was a good one. I don't believe Tracer that could get down all the way to the bottom, get down to the flat, make a huge difference, avoid some of those little spots. All right, that'll be fine. Yeah, this is a much easier shot. Little downhill lie that's a sand wedge coming in with a slightly lower trajectory and beautiful oh, yeah. 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 good spin control too yeah. off a downhill lie coming yeah. to soft greens to be able to right. it's a six seven and nine make the turn at three under 14 under total Speed off of Rousson's chip. Oh, she hammered that one. Snapping at it. Yeah, actually, didn't it didn't really spy as much as I thought it was. All right, so we are tied. Salas and Cupcho, three under for the day, bogey free. Now tied with the rookies. And let's like see how close she can hit it. Five. Oh, not her best. Well, right. yeah, it's about 20 by the hole. I don't think she's going to like that one. That was a little surprising. We thought she'd hit a little closer. Two-way tie at the top. Too hard and tough on herself. I think that was one of the things early on watching her play in college. She would get pretty tough on herself. And I would bet playing alongside Lizette Salas probably helped in that regard. Okay, saves that the par, still two-way tie at the top at 14 under par. She got a tip from her husband, Jay Monahan, earlier in the year, and uh, putted lights out at the Chevron, been putting great ever since. He's out here, he's a caddy for Allison Brooks these days. They're not watching, they'll settle for a par. Gripping down on this a bit. Yeah. Oh, this is on the right line for sure if it's not too much. Yeah, Tracer said it was good. It just needs to slow down. And she's playing alongside Lizette. Oh, that was that was a good stroke. Yeah, that's kind of a fall line there. That was that just it goes left. It's just it wasn't a bad putt. It doesn't appear that way, but when you... It's been right. Ah. 
No, nope, she wanted it on the right side. It's close, you know, in distance, but that's going to be a difficult. Lizette playing a good amount of left to right break, almost a foot. Well done. Yes! That was not an easy putt by any means. They were three back when the day began. They, they've just made it look really easy today. They haven't been in any, any major trouble. She's got a good kick there. I don't think she hit it as solid as she would have liked. No, kind of necked that one, I think. To be careful if it's not going past this whole location because the green kind of slopes away and back over the green. This has a good line. Oh, really wow. good. How about that? Boy, are they relaxed and in the middle of the left? Yeah, great stroke. So, any questions there have been answered. Five hundred on the round. Back to back birdies like they did at six and seven. Job of keeping a square club face here, getting. She knew she was going to get height based on the uphill lie, trying to keep it as de lofted as possible without. Uh, up, and, and it's just a simple stroke. Oh, yes. Wow. She had the right arm. She knew. This she knew it was five feet to go. But that, they stay bogey free for the day. They stay up by the way. Jeff's like, thanks, I parts. Wind is helping on this hole. That might get some good turbo Six. kick. Yeah, right towards the fairway bunker. Just to ensure clearing the lip. Cut that a tad heavy, but it shouldn't hurt her too much. Yeah, that's that's a good leave. Yeah, just to the front portion of the green. Oh, Four feet, 18 paces onto the green. It'll have left to right break and a little uphill. She did. Yes, she did. Oh, you kidding me? That's a lot poor out in plant room they won. Making cuts from everywhere. Ultimate shot format. Oh, and just a smooth swing there. A smart shot out to the right as there's not much room left to the flag. And uh, Cupcho in her rookie campaign last year. For 63. That's going to be the best round of the two days of alternate shot though. 64. Salas and Jennifer Cupcho. And their three shot deficit is going to be a four shot lead going into the fourth and final round tomorrow.